The lesson I learned from Jordan Adler. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. One of the books that we've referred to multiple times in the podcast series is Beach Money, Beach Money by Jordan Adler. It is definitely one of the first books I would recommend anyone new to read. Uh, in fact, I would highly, highly, and I'll underscore and highlight one more time, highly recommend the book Beach Money because it sets not only proper expectations so people understand what it really looks like in real life building an organization and that every month is not going to be as good as the next and that's just uh, to be expected that's a norm that's supposed to happen that's a normal part of the process and he gives a lot of useful information to help people especially new people become much more successful than they would or could have been if they neglected to read that book so for multiple reasons beach money. It'll raise their belief in their ability to build the business and what things are supposed to look like. It'll get people to see how it's supposed to look so that they end up more likely doing the business. As we talked about, you don't want to get people to do it. You want to try to get people to see it and then doing will become the natural byproduct of seeing it. So raise belief, get people to see it, and that's the job of a great upline. Beyond that, you have to teach something, right? There's a process that everybody has. Well, in the book Beach Money, Jordan talks about the most successful person that he had met at the time in network marketing at building a very, very fast growing organization. And this gentleman, it was, it was an unbelievable, um, uh, well, it was a believable but hard to believe story. I mean, the guy had massive success very, very quickly. And Jordan wanted to break down or understand why this gentleman was growing so fast. And he was able to understand that it was because the gentleman kept it ultra, ultra simple for the group as a whole. The process for the group as a whole was kept ultra simple. He had like two or three simple, simple steps that the group that he would teach over and over again as far as the process. That doesn't mean he wouldn't recommend books because leaders are readers and all leaders I know recommend reading to become a better leader to everyone in their organization because there are webinars and training sessions and super Saturdays and coaching and, and you know, courses that are recommended for people to grow and become better and get better skills and that's all good. However, to the group as a whole, what is your process that you're teaching and drilling in their heads over and over and over again so they can master the simple, most essential things that'll bring growth? And what this gentleman explained to Jordan or Jordan was able to understand, it's been a little while since I've read, I need to reread it again. And by the way, Better Than Beach Money is coming out in 2018, Better Than Beach Money, Jordan Adler, another book. I think it's a different topic. I think both uh, would be recommended, but I know right now that I highly recommend Beach Money because it was just uh, one of the best I've read ever on the topic of building an organization and network marketing as a whole. But Jordan said the gentleman taught like three, two or three simple steps, two or three simple steps. And he said beyond that, every time he would add anything, no matter how good or effective it was, the growth of his organization would slow down. You have to teach something, but what are the essential things? What are the, at its essence, what's the smallest amount of steps that you can teach that will help people understand what they have to do? See, people can fill in the blanks for the rest of it. And what they don't know, they will learn in time if you keep them encouraged and get them some results. Also, you can coach them individually, those that are stuck, what else they need to know. But never add the what else is to the group as a whole. Because he said every time 
he brought it down to its simple essence, the group would grow the fastest. And every time he would add anything, even one more simple thing, the growth, 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 growth of the group would slow down very, very noticeably. So do you want, what would be easier for you? Keeping it simple and have a faster growing group or keep it, you know, as effective as possible to those that have the inclination and the, the, the capacity to understand and implement more steps and lose the growth of your group as a whole. See, when you teach something that's very effective for you to the group, not everybody's at the same place. Not everybody is going to get into mastery right away. Not everybody has the same strength. See, there are areas in my life that I feel really dumb. Like, everybody gets it but not me. And it's like a mental block and I wonder, do I have brain damage? I mean, really, I do wonder that sometimes. Because there are areas and, and, and processes and things in my life that don't come easy for me. But then... There are other areas in my life that I have been called a genius by multiple people in that category and not ask me for it, but, but people have said, man, you're like a genius. And I've heard it multiple times. So I, I figure I must be pretty smart in a couple areas, right? So I think what it is, my realization is that everybody has areas that they're ignorant and everybody has areas that they're strong. And we can't assume just because we're strong in one area that everyone in our group is strong the same way we are. See, that's a mistake. Everyone has a tendency to believe that everyone thinks the way they do, that everyone has the same abilities that they have, and what's easy for them should be easy for somebody else. But that's just simply not the case. And everyone has a different learning style. And so when you're out there and you're adding steps, you could be destroying someone's business because they can't implement it. And sometimes neither can their downline. Just because it's good for 10% or 20% or even 30% of your organization, what if it's destroying 70 to 90% by adding that step? What's going to happen to your overall growth is it's going to slow way down. You're going to lose momentum. So consider what are the essential three or even two, if you can get it that, that small, steps, the essential two, three, four steps that will grow your business that is important for everyone. And then how can you get higher touch with those that need something else and teach them something individually while the message of the process stays the same to the group as a whole? So you're going to teach people skills. You're going to build belief. You're going to do all these other things all the time. There's things to teach, but your process what are the essential things to teach in your process on how to build the business? Make it so ultra simple. So for me, as an example, my model, my three-step model, and the first two are interchangeable, it doesn't matter which comes first, are get product in people's bodies. That's product that they buy, product that you sample to them, but get product in people's bodies. Connect, day 15, the campfire. Connect people to the team, connect people to the hot, exciting information, the hot, exciting testimonials, the hot, exciting videos, the hot, exciting webinar, the hotel meeting with the good speakers, you know, get people connected to the team and the exciting information. And the third, that's step two and step three would be work with the willing, work with the willing, not trying to convince or pull somebody who's dead weight that doesn't want to do this. Maybe they can be a referral source. Maybe they can be a customer, but work with the willing. That way you go, go faster because if you're working with the willing, you're not dragging people and everybody's moving forward and you're adding energy to energy instead of dragging energy, right? So work with the willing. So my three-step process, get product in people's bodies, connect people to the campfire. If you don't know what that is, refer to day 15 and work with the willing, work with the willing. See, and that's the process that I teach, just to give you an, an idea. If you read Beach Money, the gentleman that was growing so fast had a different business. There, there are product companies, there are service companies. It's not always gonna be the same in every company. But what he 
suggested in there was, you know, uh, get some customers and you'll make some money. Register other people into the business and you'll make more money and help them do the same and you'll make even more money. It was something along that line. It was so ultra simple. And he said every time somebody would try to complicate it, he would pull it back and say, nope, we're keeping it simple because we don't want our growth to slow. So I want to encourage you today to think about what is your process message for yourself and for your team. Yes, continued education. Yes, learning more skills. Yes, you can teach other things. Yes, refer people to training. But what is your primary message that you're drilling over and over and over from your stage, from your uh, training standpoint, that you're reinforcing in your trainings over and over and over again? What is the thing that you have people write down that they have to do to build the business and earn an income that grows? And break it down to the essential two, three, four steps and you will explode a business. See, I was in a business years ago that taught eight core steps and then they decided to add a ninth core step. And those steps, you know, it was growing, but then there was a gentleman came along and said, no, you know, we're not going to discount that. We're not going to argue that point that the big team above us teaches, but we're going to emphasize instead four steps, four steps. He called it the four basics. And when he moved those eight or nine uh, emphasized steps down to four, his team eclipsed every other team. He outgrew all the other teams because he simplified the process uh, that they talked about over and over, that they focused on. Their emphasis changed from eight, nine steps down to four. Everybody else was going stale and his team that was stale started to grow. And today that gentleman fills coliseums with his organization at four, four times a year or more. So I want you to encourage you to simplify your message when it comes to what your process is and see the duplication and the multiplication effect kick into your organization. And be warned ahead of time that if you add anything, you're risking slowing down the majority of your organization. With that, that's today's Journey to Freedom podcast, the lesson I learned from Jordan Adler in the book Beach Money. I highly recommend it. Until day 42, this is day 41. And I sincerely thank you for joining me in the journey. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.